And so for two years, I cried myself to sleep. My mother would stay with me, and she'd ask me, why are you crying? And I, and I couldn't tell her that I was afraid that they were going to die because they were so old. I'm a- I, you had another question a few weeks ago. What are you afraid of? Yes. I'm afraid of black people. <laughs> Marlene, welcome to the show. You're on the air. Hi, Jesse. Nice hey, to talk to you. You too. Speak up for me, Marlene. Okay. Um, my phone's all the way up, but okay. can you hear I, me now? I do. Okay. I really wanted to talk to that Dr. Frida because uh, I think having children like she did is extremely selfish to be older like that, to have children. Because when I'm 70 now. When my mother and father had me in the 50s, my mother was 43 and my father was 47. And at that time, when I... So that was older, you know, back then. It still is. And for two to three years, when I was like four or five, mostly when I went to kindergarten and first grade, I would cry myself to sleep every night, and my mother would ask me, what's wrong? You know, why are you crying? And I couldn't tell her. I couldn't tell her that because because her and my father were old at that time, I was afraid they were going to die. And so for two years, I cried myself to sleep. My mother would stay with me, and she'd ask me, why are you crying? And I I couldn't tell her that I was afraid that they were going to die because they were so old. And I couldn't, and in school, first grade, second grade, I came, my good nurse brought me home all the time because I was throwing up in school. And that went on for two years. And I wanted to tell that lady that that that's a very selfish thing for her and her husband to have kids that late because the the children, the children know they're old. And and that's how I felt. So that's what I wanted to tell her but because that was a bad situation for you why would you uh, put that on her she seemed as though she and her situation is not like that at all why would that be bad for her and her kids just because it was bad for you well i i can't say that all kids would feel like that, but I know how I felt. Right, but that's just, they were you old. felt that way, that doesn't mean everyone got to feel that way. Well, I still think it's it's a disservice. I don't even know how she became pregnant. I mean, how does an old woman like that become pregnant without, without help from the medical establishment? Does it bother you at all that she had kids at 60? Yeah, well, only because of like what I said. So, I think children are very perceptive, so and they have it, a lot of. Well, does it bother you that she had kids? She and her husband had kids at sixty. Does that bother you about them? No, I just wanted to let her know, as a psychiatrist or a psychologist, whatever she is, I wanted to let her know. But having parents, a woman who has children when they're older, is not always is not always good for. It may be good for them. But the children might could be affected by it. But she said her kids, her twins were doing fine. Well, she's lucky. And then, she's remember, lucky they didn't have that. You remember Sarah in the Bible? Yeah. She was 99, and Abraham was 100. Remember that? Yeah, I don't believe that. And they, had, the Bible. and they had baby. They had a baby. Abraham was 100, Sarah, Sarah was 99. Are you mad at Sarah for having a baby at that age? know that I don't believe it happened. Why not? Because I believe in the New Testament. I understand the Old Testament. Why you don't believe that happened? And you know, you know, you don't believe everything that's in the Bible, right? Why don't you believe that happened? Because women have menopause. The menopause? It's a physical (laughs) impossibility. So I don't believe everything that's in the Bible. You um, but, do you believe in God? Yes, I do. You a Christian? Yes, I am. Oh, and so why don't do you you don't believe that it's possible for a woman to have a baby at ninety nine? No. But if you believe in God, 
And in God, all things are possible. Why don't you believe that? Because men wrote those stories. Yes, they were inspired by God, or, but men wrote those stories. And She was 90. But, Sarah was 90. Yeah. But well, if you, do you believe that all things are possible for those who believe in God? Yes. So yes, then why I don't you believe? I know where you're going. I know all what you're doing here. Where am I going? I, where am I going? <laughs> the men are paused when I walked into the room. There were two more things I wanted to address real quick. No, tell me I'm first where I'm going. But all things are possible by God. And, and Sarah you believe- and could have a baby at that age because uh, God gave it to her. Right. And so you don't believe that it's possible for women today to have children at 90? I mean, science is progressing. Maybe they can start putting in artificial wombs and stuff like that. But do you believe that if women were to love God with all their heart, soul, and might, overcome the anger, and their body would be amazing, that they can have babies at 90? Yes. If God wants them to. Right. So it's okay to have a baby at 90. Did you forgive? It's okay, but I'm just telling you, Jesse, what what I went through. And right. That was your experience. And I understand. Did you overcome that? I don't. I, I had overcome it. I overcame it when by the third grade. My parents didn't die, and I, I had a good teacher, and right. so I felt better. But uh, I, I, I just wanted to tell her that... Since she was a psychologist, I wanted her to, to know how one person, me, how I, about my parents being old and having me. That's all I wanted to do. Right. I understand that. But don't, I, but, but don't believe that it's not possible for women to right. have children at 90 and for men yeah, to make babies at 100 or 99. It's selfish. It's no, selfish. not selfish. Woman, how would it be selfish the, if that's what they want? How is that selfishness? Well, if they can leave, if they're nine, if the woman's ninety years old and the father's ninety-five years old, and they can and they can leave, they can take care of little children and not make them uh, scared because they're so old that the kids are going to think they're going to die. Then I think, then yes, you know, they should talk to them and tell them, don't, you know. Don't worry, did, I, I'm not going to die. Did, your I'm not parents, leave did you, you talk to your parents about your fears about them dying? No, I was afraid. Why? I didn't want to tell them. I didn't talk to my father about it because I was going to sleep at night and I was crying. Why didn't you talk and to, to your mother and father was, about it? I was just a little kid, Jesse. I was uh, four or five years old. I, I didn't know. And I, and I was scared to tell my mother that I was afraid she was going to die because I was afraid she was going to die. But maybe if you had talked to them, you would not have been traumatized by that. Yes. I think my mother and my, should have took, got my father and said, she's going to sleep crying, uh, crying every night. Something's wrong. We have to find out what's wrong. Yes. Let's talk to her, you know? D- so and your then mother, I probably would have felt better. Your, your mother knew you were crying every night, right? Yes. And did you for forgive her for not telling your father? I have. I've forgiven her. She's dead. She but, did. Yeah. <laughs> can, can I answer two quick things? Yes. Jesse, you, you say uh, a lot, what's wrong with the blacks? Yes. Okay. And I know what's wrong with the blacks. What's wrong with the blacks? All they think about is being black. Yeah. That's on the top, you know, and they can't <laughs> write books. They can't think of anything else about unless it's about talking or feeling about being black. Absolutely. And, yes. And white people don't think about being white. Right. And and so their minds, they could create things and invent things because they weren't stuck in this endless loop of saying, I'm I'm white, I'm white, I'm white, you know. I need stuff. I ha- uh, but black people, all they do is think about. I mean, most of, all they do is think about being black. And yep. if that's all you can. Yeah, if that's all you can think about, you cannot move on from that. That's deep. And so, yeah. when you tell the blacks that, what do they say? <laughs> well, I'm. 
I say it on sometimes on my on my comments to a different different shows, but I I don't really talk to blacks. I'm a, you had another question a few weeks ago. What are you afraid of? Yes, I'm afraid of black people. <laughs> Everybody they afraid of me. the blacks. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I mean, <laughs> uh, I'm afraid God, of the blacks. Thank God, thank God, I'm always with my husband, and he carries. <laughs> You know, and we keep our heads on a swivel. <laughs> so, <laughs> I love you, well, and, uh, I love you too. Let me, ch- <laughs> let me tell you this. A friend of mine just sent me something. He said that this is from the Associated Press, December okay. 1, 2023. Uh, a 70-year-old Ugandan woman gave birth to twins after fertility. Fertility? Fertility. Fertility. Fertility treatment. She was yeah. 70. Uh, so I, you, I don't like that, no. <laughs> <laughs> you, so, Marie... Mar- 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 black people in the world. Yeah, well. you, know, you know what I suggest for you, Marlene? What, what Jesse? Go in there, get busy, get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell my husband that. <laughs> get busy, get pregnant, and get over the trauma. <laughs> Sounds good. It's good talking to you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you and to everyone there. Thank you. I love you. Love okay. you too. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye now. Get busy, Marlene. Make some babies. Tell your husband get busy. <laughs>